Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Singing hallelujah. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Singing hallelujah. Yahweh's people dance for joy. Oh, come before the Lord. Play for him on glad tambourines and let your trumpet sound. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountain high. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Singing hallelujah. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountain high. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Singing hallelujah. Rise, O children, from your sleep. Your Savior now has come. He has turned your sorrow to joy. And fill your soul with song. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Singing hallelujah. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountain high. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Singing hallelujah. Singing hallelujah. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the coming of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and failures so as to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters for they are gravely sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, yes, blessed may the ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us for your our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Have mercy on us all, Lord. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy on us all, Lord. Have mercy on us, Christ. Have mercy on us all, Christ. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy on. Lord, have mercy on us. Let us pray. O God, who on this day through our only begotten Son have conquered death and unlocked for us the path of eternity, grant we pray that we who keep the solemnity of our Lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought by your spirit rise up in the light of life through our lord jesus christ our son who lives and reigns with you 
in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen the first reading we ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead a reading from the acts of the apostles chapter 10 verses 34a and chapter 37 to 43 peter opened his mouth and said the word which was proclaimed throughout all judea beginning from galilee after the baptism which john preached how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy spirit and with power how he went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed by the devil for god was with him and we are witnesses to all that he did both in the country of the jews and in jerusalem they put him to death by hanging him on a tree but god raised him on the third day and made him manifest not to all the people but to us who were chosen by god as witnesses who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead and he commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by god to be judge of the living and the dead to him all the prophets bear witness that every one who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name the word of the lord thanks be to god This day was made by the Lord we rejoice and are glad Give thanks to the Lord for he is good for his love has no end Let the sons of Israel say His love has no end This day was made by the Lord We rejoice and are glad The Lord's right hand has triumphed His right hand raised me up I shall not die I shall live and be count his deeds This day was made by the Lord We rejoice and are glad The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone This is the work of the Lord and the marvel in our eyes This day was made by the Lord we rejoice and are glad the second reading seek the things that are above where Christ is a reading from the letter of saint paul to the colossians chapter 3 verses from 1 to 4 if then you have been raised with christ seek the things that are above where christ is seated at the right hand of god set your minds on things that are above not on things that are on the earth For you have died and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you will also appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us all stand for the gospel acclamation.
할렐루야 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 Christ our partial lamb has been sacrificed let us therefore celebrate this festival alleluia alleluia Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Glory to you, O Lord. Gospel of John, chapter twenty, verses eleven to eighteen. Mary stood weeping outside the tomb and as she wept she stooped to look into the tomb and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had lain one at the head and one at the feet they said to her woman why are you weeping she said to them because they have taken away my lord and i do not know where they have laid him saying this she turned round and saw jesus standing but she did not know that it was jesus jesus said to her woman why are you weeping whom do you seek supposing him to be the gardener she said to him sir if you have carried him away tell me where you have laid him and i will take him away jesus said to her mary she turned said to him in hebrew rabboni which means teacher jesus said to her do not hold me for i have not yet ascended to the father but go to my brother and say to them i am ascending to my father and your father to my god and to your god mary madeline went and said to the disciples i have seen the lord and she told them that he had said these thing these things to her gospel of the lord Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is Lord. He is risen. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, on this joyful day, I wish all of you happy Easter. Saint Paul, letter to First Corinthians, chapter fifteen, verses fourteen, seventeen, and twenty writes. If Christ has not been raised then our preaching is in vain and your faith is in vain and if Christ has not been raised then your faith is a delusion and you are still lost in your sin but in fact Christ has been raised from the dead the first fruit of those who have fallen asleep my dear brothers and sisters Easter is the greatest and the most important feast in the church. Easter literally means the feast of 
fresh flowers. We celebrate Easter with pride and jubilation for three reasons. Firstly, the resurrection of Christ is the basis of our Christian faith. It is the greatest of the miracles. It proves that Jesus is God. That is why St. Paul writes, if Christ has not been raised, then our preaching is in vain. And your faith is in vain. Without the resurrection, Jesus would have remained forever a good person who met a tragic end. People would remember some of his teachings and a handful of people might try to live according to them. All the basic doctrines of Christianity are founded on the truth of the resurrection. Jesus is Lord, he is risen. Romans chapter 10 verse 9 was the central theme of the kerygma of the apostles. Secondly, Easter is the guarantee to our own, our own resurrection. Jesus assured Martha at the tomb of Lazarus in John's Gospel chapter 11 verses 25 to 26, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me will live even though he dies. In Catechism of the Catholic Church, 1002 and 1003 we see, Christ will rise up on the last day. But it is, the, it is also true in a sense that we have already risen with Christ. By virtue of the Holy Spirit, Christian life is already a participation in the death and resurrection of Christ. Thirdly, Easter is the feast which gives us hope and encouragement. My dear brothers and sisters, we know how we are living in today's context, the context of COVID-19. This Easter gives us hope and encouragement in the world of pain, sorrows and tears. It does not mean that the problems in our personal lives, our church, our country, our state and our world will be solved overnight and disappear, whatever problem may be. But he still reminds us that life is worth living. In this of belief in the real presence of the risen Jesus that gives meaning to our personal as well as to our common prayers. Our trust in the all pervading presence of the risen Lord gives us strength to fight against temptation and freedom from unnecessary worries and fears. The praise of St. Patrick, the apostle of Ireland reads, Christ before me, Christ beside me, Christ with me, never to part. My dear brothers and sisters, in the middle of the beautiful city, there was a museum laid with beautiful marble tiles and with a huge marble statue as a part of the display. Many people from all over the world visited the museum every day and admired the beautifully crafted statue. One night, the marble tile, tile started complaining about the negligence he got from people visited the museum. Marble tiles, hey statue, don't you think that it is just not fair that everybody from all over the world come all the way here to admire you while ignoring and stepping on me? Marble statue answered, my dear brother, marble tile, don't you remember we are actually from the same cave. Marble tile said, yes I do. That is why I feel it is even more unfair. Both of us were born from the same cave and yet the world treats us so differently now. This is so unfair. Marble statue said, yes you are right my brother, but do you still remember the day when the sculpture 
tried to work on you but you resisted his tools marble tile said yes i dismissed that guy how could he use those nasty tools on me marble statue said well since you resisted his tools he couldn't work on you when he decided to give up on you he started working on me instead i knew at once that i would be something different and unique after his efforts i bore all the painful tools he used on me and allowed him crap me as he wanted marble tile said but those tools were cruel so painful marble statue said my brother there is a price for everything in life since you de- decided to resist and gave up halfway you can't blame anybody who steps on you now the marble tile tile silently listened to his brother's words and started to reflect on it my dear brothers and sisters everything that happens in life has a purpose you will agree with me whatever happens maybe a very small or whatever it is every suffering whatever we face in in this world every suffering we undergo makes us better courageous and beautiful sometimes it is so painful and we give up halfway sometimes we feel the pain and blame others for it remember everything happens for a purpose jesus suffering was the worst he underwent utmost physical mental psychological and spiritual pain abandonment isolation and misunderstanding etc was there worst to form in his life he bore all kinds of humiliation he had so because he loved god and his creation so he was ready for the extreme suffering thus his suffering took him to the highest glory the resurrection his resurrection turned out to be his glory the easter joy every difficulty suffering and calamity has a purpose the corona pandemic to is telling us something in the midst of uncertainty and lockdown we must reflect and listen to what it is this uncertainty and pain on humanity will turn out to be uniting the humanity for a better world perhaps everything is not locked down see the world sunrise is not locked down love is not locked down family time is not locked down kindness is not locked down creativity is not locked down learning is not locked down conversation is not locked down imagination is not locked down reading is not locked down relationship is not locked down praying is not locked down meditation is not locked down sleeping is not locked down work from home is not locked down hope is not locked down cherish what you have lockdown is an opportunity to do what you always wanted to do mask is better than ventilator home is better than icu lockdown is a time to experience resurrection in our personal life in our families and in our relationships we human beings became so selfish and divided we did more harm to the earth than good we are a divided lot all over we are cut off from the almighty and made our path without god we fought in the name of god perhaps this suffering of all all of us will make us better humans god fearing and loving it will bring us together as one family if we are together we can defeat the coronavirus we must first kill the virus within and among us 
the virus of pride creed selfishness hatred and prejudices my dear brothers and sisters as we celebrate the easter what is the message this easter gives to all of us firstly we are to be resurrection people easter the feast of resurrection gives us a joyful message that we are resurrection people this mean that we are not supposed to lie buried in the tomb of our sins he will have been some dangerous addictions it gives us good news that no tomb can hold us down anymore not the tomb of despair discouragement doubts not death not even the corona virus instead we are expected to live a joyful and peaceful life constantly experiencing the real presence of resurrected lord in all the events of our lives this is the day the lord has made let us rejoice and be glad psalm 118:24 secondly source of lasting peace and celestial joy the living presence of the res- resurrected lord gives us lasting peace and celestial joy amid suffering pain and tension of our day to day life peace be with you was his verse given to the disciples at all post resurrection appearances for the true christian every day must be an easter day we all are true christians and therefore every day should be a easter day for us every day must be an easter day lived joyfully in the close company of the risen lord and thirdly we are to be transparent christians we are called to be transparent christians showing others through our lives of love mercy compassion and self sacrificing sac- service that the risen jesus is living in our hearts at this time of this pandemic covid 19 let us help out whom we can fourthly inspiration for self control our awareness of the all pervading presence of the risen lord in and around us and the strong conviction of our own coming resurrection help us to control our thoughts desires words and behavior this thought inspires us to honor our bodies keeping them holy pure and free from evil habits and addictions our convictions about the presence of the risen lord in our neighbors and in all those whom we come into contact and to render them loving humble and selfless service especially the people who are affected by this corona virus are the people who are remaining in their houses fifthly easter gives us the assurance that good friday is not the end easter reminds us that every good friday in our lives will have an easter sunday and that jesus will let us share the power of his resurrection each time we display our love of others we share in the resurrection each time we face a betrayal of trust we share in the resurrection of jesus each time we fail in the attempt to ward off temptations but keep on trying to overcome them we share in the resurrection each time we continue to hope even when our hopes seem unanswered we share in the power of jesus resurrection in short the message of easter is that nothing can destroy us not pain sin rejection or death even covid 19 because christ has conquered all these and we too can conquer them if we put our faith in him and finally we are to be bearers of the good news of resurrection power resurrection is good news but at the same time is something painful because it involves death before the power of the resurrection can take 
hold in our lives we are called to die to sin to die to self we may even have to die to our own dreams so that god can do what he want to do with our lives resurrection is about seeing our world in a new way early that morning Mary did not find what she was looking for the dead body of Jesus but she found something better than she could have imagined the risen Jesus sometimes the things we think we want most are not granted to us what we get instead is an experience of God's new way of working in the world that is the power of the resurrection when those moments come we must spread the news just as mary did we have seen the lord is yes, my dear brothers and sisters the harder the knocks we go through in life the more we learn and put them to use in the future do not be discouraged by setbacks sufferings and failures sometimes better will emerge may reason jesus bless all our families our parishness today and the coming days happy easter amen let us renew our baptismal promises dear brothers and sisters through the paschal mystery we have been buried with christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in the newness of life and so now that our lenten observances is concluded let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works and promised to serve God in Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty show? I do. Do you renounce sin? I do. As to live in the freedom of children of God? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you i do do you renounce satan the author of the prince of sin i do do you believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth i do do you believe in jesus christ his only son of our lord who was born of the virgin mary suffered death and was buried rose again from the dead and is seated at the right hand of the father i do do you believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting i do and may almighty god the father of our lord jesus christ who has given us new birth by water and holy spirit and bestow on us forgiveness of our sins keep us by his grace in christ jesus our lord for eternal life amen amen let us sing i saw water flowing from the temple i saw water flowing from the temple from its right hand side alleluia and all to whom this water came blessing and all shall say alleluia alleluia I saw water flowing from the temple from its right hand side alleluia and all to whom this water came resting and all shall sing Alleluia Alleluia I saw water flowing from the temple from its right hand side Alleluia 
and all to whom this water came, breath save, and all shall save. Alleluia, Alleluia. Take our bread, we ask you, take our hearts, we love you, take our lives, O oh, Father, we are yours. Take our bread, we ask you, take our hearts, we love you, take our lives, O oh, Father, we are yours, we are yours. Yours as we stand at the table you stand, Yours as we eat the bread our hearts can forget. We are the signs of your life with us yet. We are yours, we are yours. Take our bread, we ask you take our hearts. We love you, take our lives. Oh Father, we are yours. Take our bread, we ask you take our hearts. We love you, take our lives. Oh Father, we are yours. We are yours. Take our bread. We ask you, take our hearts. We love you, take our lives. O oh, Father, we are yours. Take our bread, we ask you, take our hearts. We love you, take our lives. O oh, Father, we are yours. We are yours. Your holy people standing washed in your blood. Spirit filled yet hungry, yet we await our food. We are poor, but we brought ourselves best. We are yours, we are yours. Take our bread, we ask you take our hearts. We love you, take our lives. Oh, Father, we are yours. Take our bread, we ask you take our hearts. We love you, take our lives. Oh, Father, we are yours. We are yours. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and for the good of all this Holy Church. O oh God, with the Paschal gladness, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and raised through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O oh Lord, but on this night above all to love you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For He is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying He has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with Paschal joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise. 
and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim merciful father we make humble prayer and petitions through jesus christ your son our lord that you accept and bless these gifts these offerings and holy and unblemished sacrifices which we offer you firstly for your holy catholic church be pleased to grant your peace to god unite and govern her throughout the whole world together with your servant francis our pope need in order our bishop and all those who are holding to the truth hand on the catholic and apostolic faith remember lord your church especially the servants the intentions with whom we are praying let us bring before the lord all the prayers and petitions and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you for them we offer you this sacrifice of praise or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in health and well-being and paying their homage to you the eternal god living and true in communion with those whom the memory we venerate especially the glorious ever virgin mary mother of god and lord jesus christ and blessed joseph her spouse your blessed apostles and martyrs peter and paul andrew james john thomas james philip patlemeyu matthew simon and jude linus cleter sixtus Clement, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien. And all your servants, we ask that through their merit and praise, in all things we may be defended by our protecting help. Celebrating the most sacred day of the resurrection of our Lord, Jesus Christ in the flesh and in communion with those who memory we venerate especially the glorious ever virgin mary mother of god and lord jesus christ be please for god we pray to bless our knowledge and approve this offering in every respect make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and the blood of the most son of our lord jesus christ on the day before he was to suffer he took bread in his holy and venerable hand and with eyes raised to heaven to you o god his almighty father giving you thanks he said the blessing broke the bread and gave to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be 
गिवन अप फॉर यू In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, "Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many." For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memory of the Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, O Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious Majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kind countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servants Abel, the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine Majesty, so that all of us who, through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and bread of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing through Christ our Lord. Remember also, Lord, your servants, whom you gone, whom have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace, grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, your place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who thought the sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs. With the John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints, admit us. We beseech you in their company now, being our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life. Bless them and bestow them upon us. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever.
at the same is coming and form with the wind teaching we dare to sing Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant their peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you all be and with your spirit. Let us offer each other, each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamp of God, O oh Jesus Christ, take away our sins, we pray, and have mercy on us all, and have mercy on us. Lamp of God, O oh Jesus Christ, take away our sins we pray and have mercy on us all and have mercy on us lamp of god O oh jesus christ take away our sins we pray grant us peace O oh grant us peace Grant us peace forever. May the receiving of the body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus who is risen from the dead. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and bread of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart. Not be all else to me, save that thou art. Thou my best heart, by day or by night. Waking or sleeping, thy presence thy light. Be thou my wisdom, and thou my true word. I ever with thee, and thou with me, Lord. Thou my great Father, thine own may I be. Thou in me dwelling, and I one with thee. Riches I need not, no vain empty praise. Thou mine inheritance, now and always. Thou and Thou only first in my heart. High King of heaven, my treasure Thou art. Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart. Not be all else to me, save that thou art. Thou my best heart, by day or by night. Waking or sleeping, thy presence thy light. Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart. Not be all else to me, save that thou art. Thou my best heart, by day or by night. Waking or sleeping, thy presence thy light. Be thou my wisdom, and thou my true word. I ever with thee, and thou with me, Lord. Thou my great Father, thine own may I be. Thou in me dwelling, and I one with thee. Riches I need not, no vain empty praise. Thou mine inheritance, now and always. Thou and Thou only first in my heart. High King of heaven, my treasure Thou art. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, hallelujah. Therefore, let us keep the feast with unleavened bread of purity and truth, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and the favor, so that in here by the Paschal Mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, 
Alleluia. Come, thou fount of every blessing, tune my heart to sing thy grace. Streams of mercy never ceasing call for songs of loudest praise. Teach me some melodious sonnet sung by flaming tongues about. Praise the mount I'm fixed upon it, mount of thy redeeming love. 